do all that. Again, if I'm efficient from the beginning and I plan to get to that position before he gets there, then I stop him. Stand on your feet, get on the white line. Now just circle, circle around the, the white line. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Keep shuffling, keep shuffling. Keep going. Look what I'm doing. What would you guys consider that call? What am I doing? A what? Who said cutting him off? Cutting him off. All right. I'm cutting him off. Now watch what happens when we're down on the mat. Watch what happens when we're down on the mat. And I got a cross wrist. And I dive my head and elbow in the hole and I just roll sideways. My hips don't catch him. Okay? Now watch this when I high leg over. Head and elbow dive in the hole. Some of you guys aren't sliding your knee up. You're trying to dive from back here. Okay? I want you to slide up a little bit. Head and elbow in the hole. Now watch this. Stay up. Now when I pull the wrist, look where he falls. See how I cut him off? before I even pulled him, I have to cut him off in order to bring him to the basket, okay? If I just roll sideways, he'll belly down every single time. And better guys, when they know they're about to get wrist tilted, they're gonna start going with the flow and try to use that momentum to belly down. But if I have my basket set way out there and already know I'm gonna cut him off, it doesn't matter if he tries to belly down, okay? I don't see anybody really secure in this. I see just grabbing the wrist and diving. Checklist, this is first step. Now I'm not gonna be like this in a match, obviously when I get his wrist, but I want you to really pull it, secure it, feel it. Feel how tight it is. Slide, dive, big high leg over, here. Now I'm pulling his hip, his wrist, right here. Okay, pulling his hip, his wrist, right to my break foot, okay. It doesn't matter if he's fighting to his belly or not. I got him. Now, here's the second most crucial thing. See him between his legs right here. You see my knee? The elbow, either pushing or hooking, touches that knee. So if I see my elbow and knee are touching, I got his elbow hooked and my knee's touching. He can't hip down. Belly down? Can't belly down because I got his hip trapped because my elbow and my knee are touching. AJ Shop probably is one of the best top wrestlers I've seen in the last 15 years. He killed 